good morning. It is currently 10 to 8 and we're about to go in 5 minutes, Rosalind. And then we're going to get the morning rail over to Epcot. That's the plan anyway. But we're going to get, definitely going to get breakfast. <laughs> We are currently at the Garden Grill at Epcot. The revolving restaurant has broken down, but obviously we can still eat. Let's go to Garden Grill, booked up and a reservation. And to add insult to injury, that was delayed as well. So we're actually about 10 minutes late for a reservation after the grace period. Yeah, 15 minutes. 15 minutes grace period. So that was 9.50 was the actual reservation. Race period until 10, 5 past 10, and we didn't get here to about quarter past 20 past 10. So we, we left the hotel at 8 and we left the hotel at 8. So as you see, I can barely get my eyes open because we're so tired. And we're nursing food babies. So you get scrambled egg, Mickey waffles, ham, bacon, and potato barrels, maple syrup, chocolate syrup, ketchup, apple juice. Oh, and that thing, Danish, it's like a Danish pastry kind of thing. So I think we're going to do Living With The Land, just for a chilled out ride. It's our first fast pass, it isn't until quarter past one, and that's Frozen Ever After. Uh, Journey Into Imagination with Figment, and then 2.25 is Frozen Ever After. In Norway, that's a 75 minute wait at the moment, and it's only, it's, like, it's nearly 10 to 11. We've hardly done a thing. If you get to airport early, as a wee look, the wait times when we were waiting on the monorail at midnight, the wait times closing ever after, it was only 10 minutes and 9 o'clock, so if you go early then you can get a good shot again on it. We're just waiting about 20, 25 minutes for the living with the land. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. When we mention farming, you probably don't think of fish. But fish farming, or aquaculture, accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops. So just off, is it a seas with Nemo and friends? Yeah. Just off, I got some water, it's absolutely roasting again. Well, let's have a look at these fountains with uh, the jumping water. I think we're going to give this a go and see what it is, what's all, what it's all about. There's currently no time. Oh, that aircon's good. Mm -mm. It tastes really great, huh? Mm -mm. 
Oh. I thought, I didn't think I was oh. going to get you that one, but you totally went for it, basically. I put it, oh. Oh, that's absolutely reeking. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's disgusting. Don't go for that one. Uh. <laughs> Strawberry Zim Zimbabwe. Even though it says strawberry, it says raspberry flavour. What one's that one? Peru. Peru. Oh. Oh, that is That's humming. Carrots. Oh. No, that's, that's me. That's my normal stuff. <laughs> Oh. You're saying it to you because I was like, maybe if I go, you should try that one. You're like, not to Yeah, you can get these back home for the saving for the next Florida trip. I remember there being nice, nicer flavours. Back into the heat. Where are we going? I'm gonna get Starbucks. All right. Like smell the coffee. I know I like the smell, but I don't like the taste. Oh, there's the Disney mugs. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. No, seventeen dollars. I just love the music here. So this is the centre of the World Showcase and neither go left or right We are going left because we are going to go Norway for our fast pass to the new Frozen Never After ride which was what, last check, 74, 75 minutes long, sorry 45 minutes now So you can actually go anywhere in the World Showcase like France, UK, Norway, China, Japan and you can see eliminations from anywhere This way to Mexico, Norway, China, Germany, Italy and American Adventure uh, France. Is it good? Yeah, it was good, eh? You can can't complain. Oh, swarm again.
Oh, there's Pluto. We've seen him this morning. Oh, he's seen the wee boy's cap. Oh, he's wearing it now. So we're in Mexico first. Mexico. Mexico. I can't remember where Beach and Cream, you can actually walk to it if you go in between. Is it France and UK? What resort oh, yeah, is it? Because it's in the boardwalk, so it's right beside it. Yeah. So you can walk to it, yeah. I know, I've had to put the cap on, it's getting a bit warm outside. And I think my head got a wee bit burnt last night anyway. Oh my god. Oh, that's cool. Right. It's a projector. So all those colours aren't actually there. It's just projected on. That's cool. Oh, wow. My friends would love the uh, sombreros because they always they like getting dressed up as Mexicans. Oh my god, eh? So I wonder what what can they should come here to eat? This is where we are just now. Grand Fiesta Tour starring the three Galaberos. Panchito, Donald Duck, and Jose Carioca, or how do you, however you say it. So there's no way, there's no way, it's just stopped at the moment. Yeah, when you're on the right, don't move after you've sat down. Because it's skateboard grip paper on the seat. Banyata. Came out of the tour in Mexico, and we see this guy. Oh, it's the mariachi band. Oh, they must be Mexican. I can get the fast pass to Frozen River after the Royal Summer Hughes. Meet Anna and Elsa. 
<laughs> Fix my blowout. So, 20 minute wait for them just now. Oh, a Viking. Fast passing it. 